Right, so hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Now this is the Rager or the Rager Airdrums 400. I have no clue how to pronounce that name. Uh, these are, well, the selling point of these is essentially they are a tiny Bluetooth speaker with a pretty decent battery life for about 10 hours. And well, there are a couple of reasons as to why it can achieve that. But before we get onto that, um, well, comparatively to other smaller Bluetooth speakers, the reason why this one really impressed me is the fact that um, in general, it doesn't sacrifice battery life, but at the same time, it doesn't really sacrifice on sound quality. Now, that doesn't mean it's particularly loud or really the best sound quality, but for what it is, it's pretty good. And the fact that at louder volumes or even the highest volume, there's pretty much little to no distortion is quite impressive. But again, uh, when we look at some of the specs, you'll probably understand why. So the reason why I use this is because, well, um, or why I bought it was, well, you see, my little old laptop here, uh, the Lenovo X1 Carbon 2nd Gen, um, is about six years old, and that means it has six years old batteries, and uh, not batteries, um, speakers, and they're not exactly great. And yeah, when trying to watch, you know, more like uh, entertainment and just media stuff, not great. For co like conference calls and video calls, sure, that, it's more than fine. But so yeah, that's exactly why I got one of these. Dan trying to fiddle around with like maybe replacing the speakers or doing something else. This is a lot more of a sensible and cheaper option. So anyway, speaking of cheap and this price. Uh, let's go into some of the specifications and pricing of this thing. So um, this single piece is about like 799 or 800. You can get two of them for 1500. And the advantage of getting two of them is the fact that this uses Bluetooth 5.0. And well, if you get two of them, you could pair them in stereo and yeah, get a pretty neat little tiny, uh, maybe portable stereo setup. And yes, speaking of portability, these are very light. Like these are 57 grams up now these, this is 57 grams. This is very, very, very light and quite tiny and very portable. Like I was very surprised. Like, I mean, looking at the product images, it's very clear that this is small, but looking at this in real life, it's even smaller than I would have imagined, but still, it doesn't feel cheap, like the plastic in general, like it feels very solid. I mean, to me, this almost looks like like a single mold plastic, except at the bottom over here where all the components go in. And that's pretty impressive. Like this is pretty solid. Like I I have a feeling this may survive a lot more, uh, you know, situations than most people might think. So anyway, uh, the speakers, the drivers are three watts. So that does explain why they can last for so long. And also the fact why distortion pretty much doesn't exist. It's because they're unable to really push out way beyond uh, than what's provided of the sort of parliament. And that's great because a lot of other like tiny speaker manufacturers are just many other tiny speakers, the main disadvantage is the fact that, well, they often either go for like super high sound quality, but for sacrifice battery, some of them who basically just screw sound quality and just want to make it as loud as possible. So in that regard, this is far more sensible. It's a much more almost mature tiny speaker, if that makes any sense. So anyway, um, last thing I want to talk about is of course, just the range of these. I think um, they are rated in about like 10 meters. So that's not too bad. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't really know what 10 meters is to feet, but still, I mean, I've been able to go from uh, like my kitchen to the other side of the house, uh, which is pretty much where I am without these disconnecting. So that's pretty impressive, all things considered. So anyway, now I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a sound test of how these sound like. Now just keep in mind, of course, that this is being recorded using like a little condenser microphone and of course what you'll be listening it through, whether it's like speakers, headphones, earphones, will always be subjective and different. So that's the problem of just like sound, like buying any audio um, off like any audio products. And especially if you don't have an opportunity to check them, you know, it, it can probably sound a lot different in real life than it does through a video. So anyway, time wasting out the way, uh, here's a little bit of a sound test.
Okay, so I think that should give somewhat of an idea of just how loud these are. Like, um, that was playing on my laptop at about like between numbers of 60 to 70 percent and I still had to kind of lower it every now and then. Now of course that could be a byproduct of, of my room being uh, pretty decently sound isolated but still this is extremely impressive again for this size and um, well honestly it just sounds pretty decent. I mean of course it's not the most like widest sound range but you can hear what you need to hear pretty much. So anyway um, yeah I mean to basically conclude things this is a great little Bluetooth speaker with a pretty sizable battery or battery life and uh, yeah I absolutely do recommend this I mean heck as I said before I might just buy another one just you know to just carry around with me so yeah thank you guys for watching and well I shall see all you guys later peace